Ashley Humble from Bridgeway Health Services and we're going to just talk a little bit about their hospice service and uh, what they offer. Uh, Ashley, thanks for joining us on the yes, program. Yes, of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the services and benefits of uh, Bridgeway Health Services? Okay, Bridgeway Health Services, uh, we offer home health and hospice services. Home health is really, it's a great service to help keep patients uh, in their homes. We can come in, our nurses and aides can come in for ostomy care, uh, disease education, uh, different things to just kind of help them out, help them at home, and everyone heals better at home. That's something that we believe in. And uh, our hospice care is also just a really fantastic service. Uh, hospice is kind of a taboo topic. No one really wants to talk about end-of-life care. But with Bridgeway, we really believe that hospice is not about um, death and dying, but rather it's more about uh, giving you the best quality of life that you can have while you're going through your terminally ill disease. Okay. Now what are uh, some of the, we see this, you have this, uh, it's called the Bridgeway Connect. Yes, right? yes, this is Bridgeway Connect. This is something for our home health patients. And uh, with this, we go in and we can set this up in a patient's home. There's a large help button right here. Very large. And it's 24-7. Uh, it's so at any time they can press this, they can press this button and get connected to someone. So maybe if they're at home at night, maybe they live alone and they're feeling kind of lonely or uncomfortable, they can press that and speak to someone right away. It can actually help uh, set up their doctor's appointments for after they come home from the hospital and it keeps their doctors and their entire team informed of what's going on with them. So Great. And if they don't have a, a, a landline? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the cell phone model and we also have one for people who have landlines. So it's a really, really great service and it also comes with a pendant that they can wear around their wrist that is completely waterproof and so you can take it into the shower or into the bathtub because that is where a lot of uh, falls and things like that tend to happen. In health service, we provide, you know, obviously skilled nursing care um, and we go into patients' homes as well as if they're in an independent living or an assisted living facility and we do uh, physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, things like that. Oh, wow. And with our hospice side, um, it's not just for the patients, it's also for their family members. And that's a social worker, a chaplain, there's a year's follow-up of bereavement counseling with the family. Um, and Bridgeway, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get, might get a little emotional. We actually made the choice um, to have my aunt on hospice with Bridgeway. And so I can say, you know, from a personal aspect, that I really work for a company that I'm working about, uh, your, your turnover. Mm -hmm. You want to touch on that a little? Well, with, you found with a lot of um, home health or hospice companies or health companies in general that their staff kind of tends to come and go. And here at Bridgeway, something we're very, very proud of is that we have a very low turnover rate for our staff. The nurses, the aides that we have have been with us for several years. Um, our office staff has been with us for several years. So we have a very low turnover rate, which is something that's really great because this is healthcare at a community level. People in your community are coming in to take care of you and to take care of your loved ones. Right. And that's sometimes that's hard for people to allow someone into their home. Absolutely, absolutely, it's difficult. And so sometimes it makes it easier if you already know them, you know, from outs of the community. Maybe your kids went to school with one of the nurses that works for us, or things like that. So that's something that we're really proud to be able to say is that you know this is definitely community health care at your level. People in your community coming into your home that you probably already know, and that is there you can really like someone us. can help out outside of working for, I guess, being an employee for the company? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, on the hospice side, we have a volunteer program. And uh, with that, I mean, we have wonderful, wonderful volunteers who are just so full of compassion and grace and love for our patients. And they can go in and just sit and read to a patient. You know, they can, you know, brush their hair, do wonderful things for them. They can help relieve caregivers because so often, the caregivers, when the patient is at home, just needs a break. So if they just want to go to the grocery store, if they just want to, you know, go out for a jog, just have some time to themselves, we have volunteers that can go in and relieve them. And we also, um, volunteers can also come in to the office setting and help us do things here at the office as well. Wow, and that's something I've never even heard of, is a volunteer at aspect of a hospice company. Well, and a lot of times the volunteers that we get are, um, the widows or the children of people who we've had on service in the past. Oh wow, that is incredible. 
So how do we get in contact with uh, Bridgeway Health Services? Well, you can call us at 903-880-5000. Uh, we're located on Heritage Parkway here in Gun Barrel City. And if there's someone out there who's watching this who thinks, hey, you know, I might be appropriate for home health, or if you have a loved one who you think, hey, you know, maybe it's time for hospice, um, you can give us a call, talk to your physician, go to the doctor, talk to them, and say, this is something that I'm interested in. I think that, you know, I might need home health, I might need hospice, and then they will get in touch with us, and uh, we can help you get the process started. We cover started. Uh, Henderson County, Kaufman County, Dallas County, Navarro County, Smith County, Van Zant County, uh, Cherokee County. So we're, we're we have a pretty broad spectrum of places that we cover just for this branch. That's amazing. So, well, Ashley, thanks for joining <laughs> Thank us. Thank you. Thanks and for having me. As always, remember, we've got our eye on the county.